Curtis and I have been driving for a long time. Uh, we left early, early morning yesterday from Idaho, left the snow, and now we're driving down in the desert down here, getting really close to the US-Mexico border. We are on a Mexican hunting adventure, going to look for uh, cow's deer, coos deer, however you say it. But there are some big deer, big coos deer, down in Mexico, we're gonna cross the border, and then we're gonna drive a few hours to a ranch that we are gonna be hunting for the next few days. Uh, it should be a super fun trip. Uh, this time of year especially, where it's kinda crummy up where we're at in terms of winter weather. Come down here and it's a uh, beautiful desert country. So we'll see how it goes. Bucks right there on that. There's that little dip. Some oaks in it. And there's like a broken knob with rock and yellow grass. It's coming out it right now. Hit him. Hit him. finally got to our ranch after a long four-wheel drive road uh, out in the middle of kind of nowhere here which is perfect for deer hunting and we got a little little uh, casita we're gonna be staying in for the next week which I'll give you a uh, rundown of here just shortly uh, what are we doing we are playing with boots and shoes and stuff getting ready to yeah. go Trapes around these these uh, mountains. We we'll like go to see, see if, it. Go see if we can find ourselves some coos deer. Perfect. Right, we're going out for sit number one of our trip. Drove down the ranch road, which is unbelievably steep, pretty rough. Curtis and Josh went one way, and I'm going the other way. I want to kind of climb up to this glass and knob and just glass. I'm gonna try and get a lay of the land on our first first evening here at the ranch. rugged ranch. Be a lot of fun to hunt. Curtis has never shot a deer a coos deer before. I don't think he's ever even laid eyes on one. So it'll be fun to get him on something. Be his first coos hunt one night. Completely my fault. I should have just got ready to shoot that buck. 
it's also the first deer I've seen here. I don't, I don't like shooting the first buck I see, especially the first night. It's definitely a deer blowing at me. I don't like that. That's not the sound you want to hear. Aside from dropping my rifle on my scope, it was a really good night. Right just before I was about ready to get back up, I saw a really nice buck off in the distance. So that makes four bucks that I saw tonight. Saw a small buck here, nice basket rack over here, that first buck I saw, that one off in the distance. So it's pretty good for you know, an evening of classing. Not really know where to go. So I'm gonna go back down, see what Curtis and Josh saw. Eat some uh, good home-cooked Mexican food tonight. And uh, get up bright and early tomorrow and hopefully look for another big buck. So last night Brad claims he saw multiple giant deer and we're gonna go see if that's true this morning. Like it. We realized that Brad's getting older though. So yeah. like maybe he saw things that weren't really there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we gotta go prove yeah. it. <laughs> we gotta prove it before we say it. No his before eyes are starting to go, he's turning forty. Like. <laughs> that's right. so far. They must have heard or seen or smelled me because they were close and they kind of blew out. But being over where I'm at now, I can tell that that nice buck I saw last night was like right behind me on that face, which is where those cows blew through this morning. So I don't know how if that buck's still around or not, but he was nice. Also kind of made a strategic error here. I was planning to try and find a spot where I could class with the sun on my back. But where I'm at right now, there isn't a whole lot I can class that way, so I gotta reposition. You can't really class into the sun effectively, which I know and I thought I had accounted for, but not as well as I'd hoped. It's a problem when you don't know a place and you're trying to figure it out.
Man, well, I wasn't planning on shooting a deer today. Unless it was just like a hammer. That's a nice buck, man. I'm really excited about that buck. Maybe my opinions are a little skewed because I've only ever seen deer in the U.S., but that's the third nice buck I've seen, but he's the biggest. He's got a lot of points coming off. None of them are super long, but for a coos deer, when they get that many points, that's usually a pretty nice buck. So I'm going to get my stuff and head on down there. There he is. Oh, man. Look at all the little extra stuff he's got there. That is so cool. Let me get my shadow out of the way here. Oh man, what a cool buck. You can see all those extra points right there. Cool eye guards. One, two, three, five. Man, it's five by five, but it's got some extra stuff going on. That is a cool coos buck right there. That is why I came to Mexico. Right there. Rad cool coos buck. Man. That is awesome. That was super cool. I had to take a hard, like, quartering away shot, which I typically do not like doing, especially with a rifle. Just for meat salvage reasons. But that doe that he was with, she was stomping around. She was getting nervous. I thought she was going to blow. So I wasn't going to wait any longer so took the shot the rest is history so now we have two tags left just and uh hopefully uh, josh and curtis are seeing some stuff i didn't hear him shoot today so i don't know if they did but haven't heard anything i'm gonna probably uh drag this dude down to a flat spot I'm trying to figure out what to do here to get down, I need to go down and then down this drainage to get out to the ranch. I'm trying to figure out the most efficient way to do that, but. And I think there's some trees down there about 100 yards, and I think these things are so small that I can just drag them down there and then take care of them. It's the way to do it. Woo! Man, I may not seem excited, but I am really excited. Um, I was real nervous after knocking my scope about what would uh, how my scope would work, but. It worked just fine. The bolt went exactly where I was aiming. That is my full uh, copper bullet from my 28 Nazo I shot that coos deer with. I have a uh, small drawer full of these things. Find them in usually, well, always in the offside hide of pretty much any animal, whether it's an elk, a deer, a uh, coos deer, or anything in between. Love this round, and I've killed a lot of animals with it. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've had to pack out something in the heat. It's not as much fun as when it's cold out. That's not too bad. I'm almost back. This uh, FHF gear sling actually makes it pretty handy to hike back with my rifle without having to attach to my pack. So, not bad, but uh, I'm gonna get back. Ooh, it's downhills, and uh, I'm gonna hang this meat up, and then probably head right back out for Curtis and Josh. And we're heading back out for the uh, evening hunt here. Uh, Josh shot a buck. Josh is driving this vehicle right now. Shot a buck while I was shooting my buck. So Curtis is the only one left with a tag. 
So we're driving to a whole new part of the ranch, which required a bit of four-wheel driving. And uh, we've got about an hour and a half left of daylight probably here. So we'll see if we can turn up something for Curtis. Did you shoot a buck? I did. <laughs> nice buck too. Yeah, I'm stoked on him, man. It was, uh, it happened real quick. It was one of those things. And that's kind of how coos hunt goes. It's like, there's nothing there. And then all of a sudden, there's a deer right there. Like, they were there the whole time. We didn't even know it. Came out, saw a little tiny buck, and then uh, saw the bigger buck walk out, and we got down on him, and he, he was kind of cat and mouse for a bit. Like, oh man, where did he go? Oh, there he is, where did he go? There he is, and there's like very, very limited shooting lanes, but finally, we figured it out, and uh, yeah, Rest made good. a good shot. I like it. Yeah. I've been tonight, um, we were checking out some new country, and just doesn't, I mean, they live here, we've seen some sign, but they're so small, like trying to pick them out here. This little zone is, would be pretty tough. And the hillside we're watching has cows. Not cows, deer. Not cows, deer. <laughs> <laughs>